Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. I'm rocking the bandana look this morning in the garage, and I'm rocking the nobody cares look as well. Uh, but I care because I'm doing, because I'm wearing the head covering, I'm doing an unboxing. And what am I doing an unboxing of today? Well, today is going to be an interesting one because you may have seen previously on my channel an unboxing and a review of the C-Sense Ace front and rear lights, which I've been pretty happy with. And C-Sense released a new light, uh, or rather they released details of it and pre-orders in October and I actually ordered it on the 5th of October uh, 2020 uh, for delivery in December and I got uh, an email in December and then an email in January and an email in end of January saying sorry for the delays, production uh, issues, Brexit etc uh, etc. Et I was getting a little little peed off with this uh, so I sent them a chasing up email and said, when am I going to get this? And it arrived yesterday, which was the 27th of February. So it is now available, but I just thought I'd point that out. And I, I understand production problems. You know, these kind of things happen. They're made in China. There are issues, COVID, etc., etc. But uh, uh, for four months, five months uh, from initial order to delivery, I was just a little bit disappointed in that. Anyway, never mind. What is it? It is. And here is the box. So I'm opening the box. Julian is opening the box. There's a piece of paper there which you don't need to see. And here it is. It is the C-Sense Beam Front Light. Okay, now with the little bit of, uh, oh, a little bit of, little bubble wrap there and what you can do with bubble wrap as I'm sure you know is you can do some popping like that and this provides endless hours of enjoyment for uh, elderly grandparents, maiden aunts, your uncle Nigel, people like that who've got nothing else to do particularly during lockdown so find them a little bit of uh, uh, bubble wrap like this and it will keep them entertained for hours until Mrs Brown's boy comes back on the television. So here is the C-Sense beam front light and as you can see the box is still wrapped in the plastic so proof that I have not opened it so let's just burst burst through the plastic like perseverance bursting through the Mars atmosphere uh, does Mars have an atmosphere Fuck, I don't know the um, scenes of Mars uh, quite interesting, aren't they? An uncanny resemblance to uh, Norfolk, I thought. But uh, uh, anyway, they're a bit more, uh, bit more civilization on Mars, so it would seem, than you'd find in Norfolk. But uh, uh, un not that unnecessary uh, geographical uh, slur there. So I take that all back. There's uh, there's plenty of uh, plenty of civilization in Norfolk. So anyway, I'm just um, talking this drivel by way of passing the time until I open the box. And here we have a... Sorry, I'm, I ought to hold this up. So starting off with this bit, with the first bit to have fallen out of the box, is a Garmin-style mount, all right? So that would go on your handlebars, and then the light would attach to that hang on a minute ah look ah look it's actually held on in the box with a garmin style mount so let's get rid of that a little bit of plastic there with an allen key various straps here a uh, little bit of uh silica desiccant and uh just need to say this is very important this is not for human or indeed animal uh, consumption. You might think that this is the Sea Sense version of the little packet of Haribo that you get with a chain reaction or a wiggle purchase or some other purchases as well. Howard's, funnily enough, I ordered something mail order from Howard's and it came in a little packet of Haribo, which, uh, which I thought was a little bit long. Anyway, this is silica gel and this is designed to absorb moisture. All right, so don't, don't eat it. I'll just throw that over there. All right, so uh, I said we had a couple of straps. We had a Garmin-style mount. We have a USB 
charging cable. I now have 488 USB charging cables. And this is USB, uh, is that called B? Anyway, it's not C. It's the, uh, it's the smaller one. And here is a um, GoPro mount. So they've thought of uh, the need that a lot of people, desperate people, cycling YouTubers have to make endless dreary films about how they're on the bike. I should know because I do it myself and you're watching one now. But anyway, that's quite useful because normally you have to pay extra for that. So this is the beam front light. I'll hold it up so you can get a, a pretty good view of it. Um, I was thinking, I was trying to look for something that would give you a comparison of the size. This is my iPhone 10. So the length of the um, beam is a little bit longer, about an inch longer than the width of an iPhone 10. Does that help you? And there is a USB charging port under there. Yes, I don't know if this is charged. We'll have a look in a minute. It's it's pretty weighty, so it, it's made of uh, uh, metal, aluminium, I imagine. And just looking at my notes here, it actually weighs 132 grams. You might have an idea of what that weighs. Well, if you have a, uh, a normal pot of strawberry jam, not pot, but a normal jar of strawberry jam, is normally about 450 grams, which is about a pound. So this is 132 grams, which is a bit more than a third, a bit more than a third of a pound. Is that right? A bit less than a third of a pound. My, uh, my maths and my, uh, my ability to compare um, kilograms and pounds is deserting me as we slip further and further away into the, the Brexit uplands. Anyway, now I'm getting off the subject. This is the C-Sense beam. And I'm going to read some of this stuff out for you because I'm of a certain age and therefore I can't memorise this kind of thing. First of all, it costs £119.99 pence, which to all intents and purposes is 120 quid. And I really don't understand why uh, companies now can't can't charge 120 pounds for something. Would you not buy something because it was 120 pounds as opposed to 119.99 anyway? And it can now. This is this is the other thing about lights. This is uh, described as a thousand lumen light, which means it can put out a thousand lumens. Okay, that makes sense. What is a lumen? I think it's the light put out by one candle. But as I've said before on previous reviews of lights, uh, some candles are big and some candles are small. So I suppose you might say a medium sized candle that you get in one of those uh, kind of smelly uh, um uh, astrological shops, you know, the kind of thing you get, you get wind chimes and, and dream catchers. The number of nights I've spent trying to catch my, catch my dreams as I'm in the middle of my sleep. Not a, not a sensible thing to do if you're a certain age. Anyway, what was I saying? A thousand lumens. Yes, but, but, but if you run it on solid output, i.e. not flashing, at a thousand lumens, it will last for two hours. Okay. If you run it solid at 450 lumens, sorry, I'm reading this from my notes. If you're wondering why my eyes are kind of going up and down like a, like a, um, I nearly said mad person, but you can't say that, can you? Um, 450 lumens for four hours. And if you run it at 250 lumens, it'll run on solid light for six hours. So this lumen output is well it's not misleading because it's perfectly true it does put out a thousand lumens but only for a certain period of time and that's what you have to that's, your, that's what you have to remember if you have it on flashing mode and i never quite understand why flashing mode lasts so much longer i suppose it's something to do with the amount of power it takes to flash on and off is less than the amount of power that is saved on the period of times when it is not on. Those people, uh, or those amongst you who are uh, experts at, at biology or chemistry or um, physics or other forms of science are available. Sociology, for example, that's not really a science, is it? It's an ology. Do you remember, do you remember that Maureen Lippmann? It's an ology. He's got an ology um, that uh, uh, 
that shows my age, doesn't it? But yeah, I don't have to show my age because you know how old I am. I'm 64 and in fact I'm nearly 65, but I won't be getting my pension until I'm 66, which I think is a little bit disappointing. Anyway, the thing about C-Sense, if you know anything about C-Sense, the, the Ace lights, it comes with an app, everything comes with an app these days, and you uh, link it up and it detects road um, conditions and therefore uh, the light is stronger or it's weaker or it flashes fast or flashes slow according to various road conditions. And this is, goes back and forth to the C-Sense GPS satellites. I don't know how it works. Anyway, what it says and what they say about the, uh, the beam is that it detects your speed and adjusts the light levels and it pulses stronger at junctions and roundabouts and if you're in an urban area or going uphill it uses less power to conserve battery so it's very it's very clever isn't it it makes you wonder and I'm not sure I should say this, actually. No, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say, I was going to make some uh, some reference to Bill Gates, but I'm not going to, because there are certain people on the internet who, uh, uh, well, let's just, let's just park that, shall we? It also comes with an Allen key. I'm not quite sure what the Allen key is used for. I suspect, sorry, I'm looking down at something. You can't see what I'm looking at. Yeah, it's to adjust that. So I think that goes on to your handlebars right and then you tighten it with the allen key so you can either do it that way or you can use these straps to strap it on to your um handlebars so that's what that is for let's just see ah right okay the light sorry if that was shining directly at you so that's and that's flashing mode there I'll point that at you so you can see and then you imagine you hold it and there it's it's turned off so that gives you some idea it's difficult to tell isn't it when I'm in my garage and the light levels are all over the place and I'm turning on a light you, can, you can't really see how bright it is but you know it's it's a it's a bright it's a bright light now I did a review and you can still find this on my channel this is the Wuben uh, B1 bicycle light which was sent to me for free by the Wuben people and I did an unboxing and a review of it this is uh, comes with a battery pack whereas this is USB charge so you can see the difference in the kind of size of the two lights and this one I think was 139 pounds so you might usefully say to yourself well Julian, if some nice people in China sent you a 139 pound front light for free, why on earth did you order a 119 pounds 99 beam front light? And the reason for that is this light was ordered before these people sent me this light for free. The other thing you might uh, sensibly say is, Julian, you've said a number of times in your videos that you don't cycle at night. So why? do you need a 119 pounds 99 uh, 1000 lumens front light well that's a very sensible question actually and i'm not sure that i have a sensible answer well no i do when we had before the last lockdown the last lockdown started what november something like that i thought i know i want to get into this bike packing particularly bike packing on a gravel bike that everybody's talking about and everybody made fun of me when I made my video about seven reasons not to buy a gravel bike because you don't want to go bike packing. I thought actually I do want to go bike packing and if I'm going to go bike packing I have to be prepared for riding uh, at dusk not necessarily in, in the dark because I'd still want to get to my uh, five-star hotel before it was completely dark but anyway that was the reason for having a a decent powerful uh front light i also and i'm not i'm not you know i don't buy stuff just to support new companies but i do think you know i'm impressed with the guys at c sense i think it's a very clever name by the way they uh, deserve kudos 
kudos for that alone. But I think, you know, what they're trying to do is apply uh, technology to uh, uh, the cycle light uh, business and come up with something that's a, a little bit different because it is a little bit different the way it links to an app and adjusts its power according to the road conditions and so on and so forth. There may be other lights who do that that do that. I'm sure there are, but uh, I just, I, you know, I just think well done, you know, C-Sense guys. You know, a little bit disappointed in the delay in delivery, but uh, we can park that because I've received it now. Now the other thing I was going to say is, God, these videos are tiring. Yeah, I mean, you might think. You might, you might think you're exhausted watching this drivel, but it, you can, can you imagine it, making these videos? It's it's hard work, you know, it's bloody hard work. I mean, you know, pace Bill Shankly, it's not like going down the mines, I know that. I'm in the cars, I'm making a video, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to kill canaries down the mines and find some coal, etc., etc. I'm not doing that, but I'm, I'm, uh, uh, it, it's still hard work. The thing I wanted to say was, um, on uh, my review of the Wuben light. Somebody left a comment saying, oh, well, you haven't tested out the 30-hour battery life, have you? Well, look, guys, right. this is not that kind of video. If you want me to sit in this garage with the camera money for 30 hours just to see if this flashing light will last the length of the battery, well, you're going to be a bit disappointed because it ain't going to happen. And, you know, why Why would they lie about it? You know, obviously they, they take it in best conditions. It's like, you know, miles per gallon in a car and so on and so forth, you know. And I'm, but I'm sure, you know, they've tested this thing for hours in the Chinese factory and they've, they've got it delivered and they tested it again and maybe they had some production problems because it wasn't lasting quite as long as they thought it did and so they adjusted it again. I mean, I have no reason to doubt that this light will shine for six hours at 250 lumens on a solid beam. Why, 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 why would they lie about it? You know, life is, life is too short. So you're just going to have to take it from me or rather take it from me and the C-Sense people that the light will last for as long as it says. So you want to know what is my verdict on it? Well, it seems like a pretty good light to me. I think 120 quid is a lot of money and 120 quid puts it into the kind of territory of lights that cost 120 quid, obviously. And there are lots of different ones you can get, but this seems, uh, it feels solid. It's nicely made. It's a decent size. It's not too big. The um, various uh, adjustments and the clever technology that they've built into this light, I think is, is clever technology and, and I admire them for that. You get, um, the, you get the mounts that you'd expect to mount. The action camera GoPro mount is a useful addition because you don't normally get that when you buy lights. I didn't get it with the Wuben light, but I'm not sure about uh, other lights because I haven't uh, bought those. You get a little... Uh, uh, little, here we are, uh, set of instructions. They're always uh, useful. Of course, I won't read those, partly because, and I've made this point before in other videos, uh, these little packets of instructions are written in very small writing. And when you're of a certain age, like I am, I do struggle a bit to read that um, small writing. So, to sum up, I think I said that before, didn't I, to sum up. Uh, yeah, it seems like, a, seems like a decent light. Why not? Yes, if you're in the market, buy one. Um, yeah, why not? Uh, my videos, by the way, if you don't know, raise money for the Vine Food Bank, which is in Croydon, which is in the United Kingdom. So when you sit through the adverts and you sit through my videos, it all helps to raise money. If you enjoy the kind of things that I do, then please like, please share, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, and then somebody will hit you over the head when a new video of mine plops, plops, there's a nice word, plops into your inbox to keep you endlessly entertained. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying your life. Hope COVID hasn't affected you too much. I had my vaccination a couple of weeks ago, a little bit sore. Um, but uh, I am, yes, I am on the road to on the road to nowhere was that, was that talking heads or was that somebody else anyway i digress thanks for watching see you next time